Jawaharlal Nehru probably the most criticized at the same time most celebrated Indian politician of the last century after India's independence Nehru was uh, like a lot of people know that he was born in a very rich family his father was a prominent lawyer Motila and he was one of the son of the three children so his father was very affectionate with his son obviously they have a lot of money he was from a uh, from a rich uh, location um, he was staying around the 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 white people so his father wanted to give very good education for his son so he hired some uh, english teachers for him who used to come and teach at his home even they had his own laboratory at his home um, that's how powerful nehru's family was so even from his young age nehru was very very attached with science at the age of 15 his father sent him to study high school in uh, in the uk so he went to harrow's there was a high school then after he finished his high school then he joined in cambridge um, and he studied geology geology was the study of earth so at that time he was very much affectionate to science so he was very attached to the science later on he after for his masters he moved to law Uh, because his father was a lawyer so he wanted to practice law as well but even during this time he had a very strong connection with a lot of scientists like james jean arthur eddington these are some of the stalwarts of those times so he had this strong connection with the british scientists and he was very much attached to the science and the the function of the universe all this all this stuff the fundamental science so a lot of people know that uh, nehru after he came back to india he left all his profession he started involving in india's independence he was in prison for a very long time if you count the number of days he spent in prison uh, for india's independence it was more than 9 years he, he spent a long time in prison so even well before independence he had this big vision big dream about india how india should be after independence and main thing he was more attached to what this science we should bring back the glory of what we were before the british came so he studied all this basic stuff from our from ancient times at the same time he was also interested in the world international uh, things what is going on and he wanted to merge both things and he wanted to use science and technology as the building block for for india after its independence so well advanced well before some 20 years even before the independence he had this big dream at some point of time he was in a prison in ahmednagar he was in solitary confinement he was completely cut off from rest of the world and there he wrote the famous book called discovery of india if you read the book in discovery of india he was mentioning about the science and technology how it should be slightly separated from philosophy and religion so he had this big vision of uh, of science so once after the independence he realized that we were lagging behind um, behind the international arena that all the science in rest of the world are growing so fast whereas india is in the beginning stage because of his uh, the the bondage against uh, under the british so even in 1937 uh, there was an indian science congress and he was invited he was not a scientist but he was invited by the scientists and he went and gave a talk that he mentioned that science alone can help the poor people and the hunger people and science alone can remove the the superstitious belief of our ancient times so he had this strong uh, focus what science should do and what science should uh, should not do all those kind of things even in 1939 uh, the congress has set up this national planning committee he, and they invited a lot of scientists to be a part of this to plan in advance what we should do after the independence so we got the independence india got independence in 1947 immediately in 1948 he had this big thing about atomic bomb the energy because at the time in 1944 1945 there was a big fuss about this atomic bomb so he knows the potential of the atomic energy so he wanted to produce <coughs> use this energy and he mentioned that we are lagging behind we should do something about this atomic energy which will be the uh, future for the energy production and then he immediately 1947 we got the independence 1948 he set up this atomic energy commission in 1944 54 he established the Deta- department of atomic energy and as you know even today india is very powerful uh, uh, like one of the strong leaders in two areas of research one is space and one is atomic 
because we are like we have all nuclear uh, power uh, bomb and also we have the zero indian space research organization to send satellites even we have reached the moon and mars so these two things the biggest contribution was by nehru in association with two stalwarts one of the, the father of the space program vikram sarabhai and the, and the the father of the the nuclear program homi baba so these were two guys and they were like so friendly with nehru how how these three guys were attached to each other interestingly nehru studied in cambridge and homi baba studied in cambridge he had his phd from cambridge university and vikram sarabhai also had a, a phd from cambridge university and somehow nehru was also so uh, uh, passionate about science and these were like scientists from top universities so he always had a very nice relationship with these uh, two two people even in 1947 during the independence vikram sarabhai started physical laboratory at his home at his residence and later on when this uh, the uh, rocket uh, center was planned uh, it was initially initiated in vikram sarabhai residence actually so this was the the, the development plan of um, of uh, nehru very early stage so in the beginning he was ex- a- a- extremely focused on using the atomic energy for civil purposes for uh, for the development purposes for energy production all those things in 1949 uh, he traveled to the us to the to the united states to have a look at all these uh, institutes uh, like massachusetts institute of technology all these uh, famous universities in the us and during this time he he came to talk with a lot of professors a lot of intellectuals and they they told that if we have to develop as a country we need very strong intellectual skills and we need strong institutes so he went to us in 1949 he looked at all these institutes then he came back and that is how the iit started indian institute of technology has started so he established this first uh, iit in 1954 at uh, the iit karakpur it was started in a prison the building the first iit karakpur was started which was a earlier a building for prison under the british and the name iit was given by maulana abdul kalam azad so when the iit was established he gave lot of freedom a uh, lot of freedom to all these uh, institutes because iits have to be like independent like in mit or something like that so he established lot of iit iit delhi iit kanpur iit madras iit bombay all these things he established uh, and gave freedom that you please continue the research that will help the country so that is how the iit was started and later on he established uh, cas csir council for scientific and industrial research so he wanted to make a, a scientific and industrial research and he was the chairman so he wanted to directly continuously monitor what is the progress and and then csir was in, uh, established and even today csir is one of the like major uh, research uh, centers for indian science and then he he was the the key player in establishing this uh, tafr tata institute of fundamental research right now very very famous in the global scale the research in tafr is very famous and thanks to tata and thanks to nehru uh, who both had the vision to establish this fundamental research institute with a very sophisticated facilities and interestingly even before independence we got independence in august 1947 even january 1947 nehru established national physical laboratory with k s krishnan as the first director so the national physical laboratory even today it's in delhi and it's famous for this um, measuring instruments metrology and later on they they moved to different areas of research and quite famous even now the country they are contributing significantly to indian research and uh, so and then the De- department of atomic energy was used to uh, make lot of this uh, armaments uh, the powerful weapons and and even then at that time homi baba was telling uh, nehru they were very friends so homi baba used to call nehru as bhai hello bhai me nehru bhai and uh, nehru also very close to baba and he used to say like homi hey homi something like that so he was telling nehru bhai we have to start the building a nuclear bomb as early as possible we have our neighbor china and they are trying to build this nuclear bomb and we have to do the same but you know the biggest problem and one of the like he had a lot of mistake he had made a lot of mistakes in his political career like some problem with china and of course we lost this uh, the permanent uh, membership in the security council of the united nations and lot of things uh, things he 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 miss uh, mistook uh, m- he mistook in lot of things 
but and one of the key things is the, the development of atomic bomb when homi baba was telling and nehru was against bomb see we as an in india we have uh, shown ourselves that we are like peaceful country we don't want to attack anyone we don't want to build bombs so he slowly 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 delayed so there was this two separate things one is either you uh, you look for the country or you want to show as a like the good person and he took the the second one he wanted to be like a good guy and he did not allow them to build the nuclear bomb that is why we delayed so for the first bo- atomic bomb was tested in china in 1964 and we tested only in 1974 but we had all the potential all the technology all the knowledge all the scientists who could do it much in advance it was uh, one of the delay that nehru uh, did um, in, in the in related to the atomic bomb um other than that the space research of course he gave all the autonomy like he gave, he gave full freedom to vikram sarabhai and sarabhai took the challenge and the first uh, the sputnik was launched in 1958 uh, in russia after the first satellite was launched he immediately set up this uh, in kospar the, there was an international uh, version of this kospar center for uh, communication and uh, space research he established the indian side indian uh, committee for uh, space research in kospar and right away uh, vikram sarabhai started building and you know vikram sarabhai very close to dr kalam and so on and then they finally they managed to send the first uh, satellite aryabhata using the russians uh, help so this was the origin of the space research and you know how it proceeded so the first thing uh, when uh, nehru was uh, keen is he wanted to give complete freedom to everyone homi baba take care of the atomic energy do whatever you want and the vikram sarabhai do whatever you want for uh, space research iits do whatever you want we give all the freedom but the problem in the eventual cycle it happened is some of the scientists were very specific very focused in what they do they said oh you cannot dictate what i do i i ha- i will do whatever i want but negru was very very uh, uh, focused you should do research that will help the country for example he said vikram sarabhai develop satellite that will help the country that is how we develop satellites to help the remote sensing to weather monitoring all those things we uh, did because of uh, Nehru's instruction to Vikram Sarabhai that our research should focus on our our uh, resources for our country so that is how Vikram Sarabhai uh, started all this uh, thing and the same thing we used uh, the atomic energy purely for energy production apart from these two areas uh, and then IITs he established so many things aims the medical institute and he established Maulana Azad Medical College in Delhi and uh, Ballab Govind Ballabhan Medical Institute Institute of Virology he established the institute for virus separately well in advancing even in 1952 we got independence 1947 within 5 years he established the institute of virology he also established the fertilizer plant in 1954 this was related to agriculture and also he established uh, he gave the freedom to malavia to establish uh, the ONG, ongc he gave the uh, so we we now deal with this oil production all these things because of ongc because of malavia Uh, with the with the support of nagro so he has found some key personalities and he had this vision well in advance and he gave all the freedom to this great people of our india and they all proceeded further to establish so much thing about science and technology but all the things what he did did not go well for example with sir cv raman sir cv raman and uh, nagro had uh, serious tug of war they did not like each other for various reasons for example congress asked uh, sir sivi raman okay in 1939 we are establishing this uh, national planning committee so they were inviting a lot of scientists like saha was leading this um, the committee but raman said no i am not coming leave me alone i will do my research you do your politics and raman was completely isolated but nehru was not happy because we as an in india we we are struggling we will get an independence we need scientist support but uh, raman completely cut off but even then after independence raman was awarded as the national professor nehru awarded him the I, the the reason behind the national professor is like he will get the full salary all his life but raman was not happy uh, with nehru for for various reasons you can read the history because raman is leave me alone i will do whatever i want nehru is no 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 you do what i want you do what the country wants for example there is a famous article by an iisc professor he has written that we need nehru's india not raman's india because uh, like at once nehru said the scientists uh, like to sit in the ivory towers 
and uh, Raman replied, we are the salt of the earth. And uh, Nehru established CSAR, Council and Scientific Industry Research, and he put the funding specifically to particular institutes, uh, particular uh, the industries, and, and reduced the funding for universities. And Raman was extremely unhappy. You should provide a lot of money for the universities. But Nehru was like specifically some institutes, IITs, CSR labs, uh, all these big laboratories only he was providing funding. So all these things um, uh, came opposite to each other. At one point of time, um, Raman took the bust of uh, Nehru and broke it by throwing by throwing on the ground. And even he broke the Bharat Ratna that was awarded to him. Later on, he completely cut off. He gave all the money back to the government. You get, get all your uh, national professorship, all these things. I will get money from some some kings and then he establishes his own institute. Uh, he was not in Indian Institute of Science. He was one of the directors. I mean, the, the first director of IAC and later on he moved to this um, uh, Raman Research Institute. So like Nehru's contribution to India has to be credited because if you go to the US, uh, you look at NASA and you see a big statue or the big uh, the face of John F. Kennedy because the vision of Kennedy. Kennedy wanted people to send man to moon and exactly what happened. So this is called John F. Kennedy Space Center. Similarly, we have a lot of institutes after Nehru like Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. The contribution, the scientific contribution, just imagine India as a poor country. People are laughing. Why do you want to send a rocket? Why do you want to have a space research? Why do you want to have a nuclear research? You are such a poor country. But Nehru had a vision. Only because of the vision, of, of because of his vision towards science and technology, we could do a lot of things in the last 70 years um, towards science and technology. And we have a name in the international arena that we are quite capable in science and technology. And thanks to Nehru on this day of his birthday, it's an honor as a scientist. I recognize his contribution to India. I, I also want others to recognize what he has done for this country. Thank you.